Jester, you are fucked up. So I am not there. That doesn't make any sense. set like own position which Jester has gone and buggered up hey guys so today I was joined by Weasel as the Rio and my Tomcat and this is the first time since buying the Tomcat in March that I've let someone other than a friend come and fly with me I just never wanted to take the chance but after dealing with jester issues today where I try to set a waypoint and instead of doing that he moves the position of my own aircraft and then the only way to get it back is to spawn a new one and start the whole startup process over again I said you know what let's just let's do it somebody was asking to come in Rio for me I said let's do it and it turned out to be really great uh, it turns out Weasel's a full-time Rio with his buddy he knows what he's doing he's efficient and he was easy to get along with we had a good time so I wasn't expecting to use this footage. There is music in the background the whole time. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. If you do like it, the band's called Afanimer. You can find their info in the description below. Please check them out. They're great. Otherwise, uh, it was a good night of air to air. Lots of like giant gorilla groups showing up of eight planes or more and trying to figure out what to do about that with SAM sites active in the area. All up in the straight around Kasab. It's a good time. Anyway, check it out. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next time. ICS comms check. I just had SRS disconnect on me. Uh, I got you lying there. Right on. Dennis traffic terminus cat three shooter. Do you spend a lot of time doing Rio? Yeah, basically only Rio, so. That's awesome. A friend of mine just finally got the Tomcat maybe two or three weeks ago, so I'm finally getting a shot at it. Yeah, it's real fun, so. Just kind of tried it one day. I was kind of like, hey, this, I might as well learn it and found it super fun, so. It's pretty addicting. Like, now I get in the Tomcat and think, ah, I wish my friend was online so I could sit in the back. Should have a hot trigger outside of 20 miles. Radar in Phoenix is yours. Copy. Do you have a bunny within 20? Yeah, I got visual on him. That's a two ship by the looks of it. Got one enemy, very high closure rate. They got two aircraft, very high closure rate. You want TWS? Your call. Yeah, try it. 
All right, I'll get you some speed. Not locking the guy I want. Gonna maybe lock the front guy, then uh, TWS probably for the rear guys. What kind of range do you typically launch at? Uh, me as a Rio, 20 to 25 miles. Trying to make sure it's a really high kill kill ratio. Makes sense. Okay, I got three locked, four locked up TWS, uh, but they're far group, 55 miles. Angel's 30. Closest guy is 41 miles away at 16,000. Oh, he's low. Never. Apparently he's 14 miles in front of us. Angel's 30. First TWS target is uh, 40 miles, 31,000. 31 locking us. They're all in pretty close now. Yeah. Twenty miles to our uh Fox. Check one o'clock low. Awesome. Make that two o'clock low. Very low. Tally. Tally bandit. I'll try to get him in pal. Copy your better. Got him, got him locked. FF hostile. Visual ID SU-25. Splash. Visual bogey on our nose. Lock him up. If 
friendly. Copy that. But he fired on a bandit. Tally bandit. You look like he's going down to you. Smoking real bad. Uh, VID is 25. Alright, yeah, he's going down. Yeah, the guy real high in the center, right? away from that SA-10. Been pulse searching, like I see his dot on the uh, radar screen. But when I try to lock him up, it goes away. Huh. I see him as a data link contact only for the moment. Spike SA-10. Defending. It's a long shot for him. Yeah, I don't even see where the missile was launched. Yeah, me either. And it's 80 miles out or one o'clock. There you go. Amex calling out as hostile. My FF is also hostile. Copy. Yeah, I couldn't pick him out because he was flying a beam. Oh yeah, I see, yep. So he was notching our radar basically until, until you sped up. <laughs> I saw that missile way too late. Got Stannis punched on. Copy that. I'm ready to go whenever you are. I am also ready to go. Stennis traffic. Terminus cat 2. Shooter. Hopefully I have all your waypoints in. Beautiful. So much more efficient than Jester. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've been setting up voice attack profiles so that I can make Jester a little easier to use, but there's just no beating a human who you don't have to say a word to, they just know what you want already. 
Oh yeah, like, I have a bunny I fly with, and basically we're almost at the point to which, like, I can, like, his, like, be, like, one step ahead of him in, in, that, in that stuff he wants. That's awesome. It makes the Tomcat a completely different plane, doesn't it? Yeah, like, one day we got, like, 14 kills and no deaths. Beautiful. Good old Tomcat. I should have asked you if you have a preference for loadout. Um, depends on the mission. There's gonna be a lot of close fighting. Probably like the three Sparrow, or two Phoenix, Leno. On maps like this, where we're over the water, and we can shoot long range, probably the four Phoenix. Definitely do not like the six Phoenix, though. So. <laughs> yeah, that one's a bit nuts. Yeah, because I just like the whole having a, having at least a Sparrow to, like, if we're merged with a friendly and a bandit, we can still shoot shoot down the bandit efficiently w w without endangering our uh, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Is that an SA-2 launch on us? Uh, don't know. Chaffing? Defending. Might be a missile launcher three. Hour nine. I'm gonna pick up some speed and then kind of launch straight up. Gotcha. And 25,000 feet, just like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got a buddy merge of two bayonets, uh, 100 miles out. Looks like a little more than two out there. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a whole wave, this one. I love having Bandar as a waypoint, because I can see exactly where they are. Yeah. Yeah, our friendly is running away. All planes, be advised, guerrilla group, tracking south between Bandar Abbas and Kassab. I guess A-10 already, god. Yeah, it's sad, man. Just got like, I think I'm counting six bayonets. That friendly's in big trouble. It's six or eight. Yeah, I'm seeing eight. Got Another buddy firing. Needs missile connected. Closer guy, twenty six miles, thirteen thousand. Hostile. Tally radar lock. He's merged with the friendly.
Tally Bandit. Twelve miles, thirteen thousand. Switching to sparrows. Copy. Two ship bandits are one o'clock within uh, within thirty twenty five miles. Eight miles. Terminus Fox one eight miles. Lost lock. Got him in pal. Cabin. Box one. Terminus splash one. Over Kasab. those other ones uh crank is right uh four o'clock two cars close within 20 miles the Tally. two ship is probably going to be su-25s the one in the back is probably an f5 because he's spiking us What's this guy? Uh, bomber. Hostile. Box one. Cap. Splash. Thirty one spike locking us twelve o'clock. Trashed. Box two. Defend. <sighs> Shit, sorry, my bad. So up. Yeah, I was lagging, I would have called out that missile a little bit earlier. Hawk sound was locking us earlier, so I wasn't thinking about it too much. So we did launch one last time, but within a few minutes of getting up in the air, the server decided to crash and I decided to call it a night. Just wanted to say thanks to Weasel for being a great Rio, and this has really opened me up to doing this sort of thing again in the future with randoms rather than just with friends. I love flying the Tomcat, and it really does show its potential when you can get a second person in there and work together. There really is nothing else like it in DCS, and if you own the module and haven't done this yet, or if you're on the fence about buying it, I highly, highly recommend it.